So, a few days ago, I came across a video by none other than Mr. David Wood. So that everyone else takes, takes notice and sees what we do to people like you! We're coming for you! We're coming for you! Now, the video was titled, Where is Allah? Uh, in the video, he highlights a bunch of Islamic scholars and other speakers who all talk about where Allah SWT is. Like, whether he is above the Arsh or not, etc. Where, 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 where is he? Now, I find this quite funny. So basically, David Wood's argument is that because there are difference of opinion among scholars, therefore that means that somehow Islam is false. So let me still man his argument and this is basically what he said. Premise 1. There is a difference of opinion regarding where Allah SWT is among Muslims. Premise 2. We know that if there is a difference of opinion about something, then that thing is false. Conclusion. Therefore, Islam is false. Now, if you notice, uh, this argument is obviously not sound or valid. <laughs> because if you look carefully, you will likely notice that the second premise here is false. Just because there is a difference of opinion about something does not mean that that thing is false. I mean, it's a non sequitur. I mean, there's a difference of opinion on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't really mean anything. Uh, this is like saying because there's a difference of opinion in the US election, therefore, that means democracy doesn't exist. Uh, I mean, this is a stupid argument. Wow. Amazing point. For example, some people are argue and say that Earth is flat, and some say it's round. Does it mean that we now have to give up on geology? No. <laughs> of course not. So as you can see, it's a non sequitur fallacy. It's a fallacious argument and it's a silly argument. What's worse is that uh, this is actually also very much true about Christianity <laughs> as well. For example, do you know that there are literally thousands of Christian sects out there uh, that with completely contradictory views? I mean, according to one wiki page, uh, they basically list a bunch of Christian groups. And uh, let me show you guys. Here is a list of early Christian groups. First, you have the Adamites, who believe that uh, they are free from the original sin. They also didn't believe in marriage. They also didn't believe that their actions could either be good or bad. I mean, they didn't even believe in the concept of good or bad. <laughs> I mean, all of this completely contradicts what many Christians believe. Heresy. Then you have the Arianism, this sect of Christians who believe that Jesus is the son of God. However, he is not equal to God, which is another contradiction to the Trinity. Heresy. <laughs> then you have the Ebonites. Uh, this Christian sect believed that Jesus was just a normal person with, with a normal birth. I mean, they didn't believe in the miraculous birth. They believed that he was just a normal child for, of two parents, uh, which is another contradiction to the common uh, Christian belief of miracle birth. And they were also vegetarians, which also goes against, uh, you know, Christianity and Judaism also. Heresy. Then there is another heretic sect called Elisites. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Now, this group rejected the writings of Paul and claimed that they received a new revelation from another angel. Heresy! Then you have uh, Macronism. This group of Christians believe that there are two gods, that uh, the God of the New Testament Sorry, the God of the Hebrew Bible was a lower, uh, lower God and the God of the New Testament was a much more purer version of God uh, and, much, and he was beyond the Hebrew God. 
which again is another major contradiction to the popular Christian belief. Heresy. Now, some Christians might say, ah, but a lot of these Christian groups are just heretical movement. These are not real Christian. However, that would be a no true Scotsman's fallacy. I mean, who decides who is a Christian and who's not? I mean, when it comes to Islam, it's pretty clear. Yes, there are differences of opinion on certain matters, but it's not as crazy as this. I mean, it's not even close. I mean, when it comes to core beliefs, the Sunni Muslims are pretty much united. If there is a difference of opinion, we can verify which of the opinion is the correct one using the Quran, Sunnah, and the Salaf, and the opinion of the scholars. However, there's no way to do that with the Christians. I mean, they are too different in their belief. For example, the Catholics and the Protestants don't even have the same canon of, of the Bible. One popular group of Christians in America called the Mormons believe that God has a physical body, where the Catholics believe that God has no physical body. So which one is it, David? Does God have a physical body or not? The Jehovah's Witness believe that there is no immortal soul, but the Catholics believe that there is an immortal soul in the hereafter. The, Jeho the Jehovah's uh, believe that everyone will be resurrected, you know, like zombies. <laughs> so again, which one is it, David? Do people get immortal souls or not? Now, seeing all this evidence of contradictory belief among Christians, let's say for the sake of argument that David is right. Let's say that if there's a difference of opinion on something, then that thing is false. So based on this, let me make an argument. Premise one. According to David's theory, if there is a difference of opinion about something, then that thing is false. Premise two. We say that there are thousands of differences of opinion in regards to Christianity. Conclusion. Therefore, Christianity is a false religion. PhD in philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. PhD in philosophy. Refuting, <laughs> I love how David Wood uh, does a be much better job of refuting Christianity more than any Muslim apologetics out there. <laughs> I mean, I really appreciate the fact that he got a PhD in philosophy. So, to summarize, just because there is a difference of opinion about something does not mean that that thing is false. Uh, it just simply means that there is a difference of opinion. Uh, you have to use reason and logic to decide which opinion is the correct one. That's it. This doesn't mean that the whole thing is false or that it should be rejected. I want to say something to David. David, do you know why... Christian apologetics like you are such a failure in the Muslim world? I don't know. It's because no matter which argument you guys come up with, chances are it will always backfire on you. Whether it's apostasy or blasphemy, it doesn't matter. Christianity has it covered. So this type of argument are completely useless against Muslims. The truth is, is that there are a lot of similarities between Islam and Christianity. And unless you guys admit this, you, you will likely continue to stumble like this, like the idiots that you are, and I'll be watching and laughing at you guys. <laughs> and trust me, I think all of this will happen when you guys are being destroyed by the atheists and the secular, secular liberals because of, of your own stupidity. Do not realize this obvious mistake that you're making trying to criticize Islam. The same arguments can be turned against Christianity, you know. You know, there's this saying in, uh, in English, I think it's called, I mean, don't throw rocks when you live in a glass house. <laughs> That's basically what's happening. I mean, every single Christian apologetic argument that you usually make or David would make always almost always backfires <laughs> so it's just stupid and i think you guys need to come up with something much better than this with this i'm done uh, with the video thank you guys for watching again if you like my content then please consider becoming a patreon you know like share subscribe and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching